Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm delighted to show you the new newborn preset workflow collection for Lightroom. This is an updated set, um, an update from the old newborn preset collection and I am really excited to show you how this one works. This is a very manual preset collection but don't let this put you off um, because it is literally just click and look and as soon as you are happy with your image um, you can simply select any other images in the collection which are similar and use the sync button to sync them all up to batch edit so it will make your editing very much um, quicker, easier and more painless. You can also edit an entire newborn gallery in Lightroom with this collection if you want to, um, which means if you don't use Photoshop or you just really don't want to go over to Photoshop, you can use Lightroom entirely to edit a newborn and I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to get started with this image. This is a little baby on the cover of the um, of the Lightroom presets, um, a total cutie. And as you can see, um, the skin is slightly underexposed. Um, nice and sharp which has also brought out all the skin flakes um, and the red spots on baby. Um, the background is very flat looking, um, there's also a few little bits that need cloning out and I'm going to show you how to edit this. Obviously your recipe uh, will be different to mine which is why I've given you so many more options now when it comes to editing your newborns in Lightroom so you can literally just click through the sections. We start off here with the bases, you also have um, some tips here if you click on these nothing will happen it simply says set your white balance manually this is very important your white balance will be pretty much as unique as your fingerprint so I've taken the white balance options off now um, so if your white balance wasn't great in the camera you can come up to here and set your white balance by moving the sliders or by using the dropper to find an area in the image which is neutral gray black or white so you can change your white balance here the presets will take care of the rest to undo a preset you can click on the, um, the section at the bottom of each one which says reset and that will reset it back to your original or you can simply use control or command Z as many times as you need to undo or go on the history and you know click, click back a few, it's entirely up to you. I don't want to overcomplicate this for you because it is in fact very simple. So <laughs> let's get started. You can start here with the newborn bases and what I'd uh, recommend is having your nav navigator excuse me I am rubbish at talking, is having your navigator open here so you can simply hover over the presets and see how they change your image. Select the one which uh, looks most like the image you'd like to create. You may want to go darker, you may want to go warmer, you may want to go cooler, uh, calmer, more punchy. It's entirely up to you so um, for this image I'm probably going to either go for basic baby cleanup or sweepy Let's go for sweepy because I'd like to um, add more contrast into this image. So you can already see from the original, you'll have to excuse how slow my computer is by the way, for some reason it does not like recording video software. It has made lens corrections and it has also balanced out the image massively compared to the original. You can then go down to the next section, section 2, which is your base lights, your exposure. And you can choose if you wanted to, to change your lights. You can either have them as shot or you can choose one of these. You can also come up here into the basic section and change your exposure manually, which I would recommend sometimes, you know, play with those sliders. Um, I think I'm going to leave the exposure like this for now because I like that. You can recover the highlights, you can calm them down or brighten up the highlights on your image or reset them back to normal. Again, I'm happy I'm going to leave them. The shadows, you can lift or deepen them and the same with the blacks here. But I'm going to leave them. Toners, if you've got a jaundice baby, um, we'll get onto the brushes in a minute because I do have brushes for that, which I will show you. But you can also, you know, reduce the jaundice throughout your whole image or reduce the reds throughout your whole image. But again, I'm going to leave those. Contrast, you can add in contrast or take it down. You can add some vignette. I think for this image, because I'm going for a slightly darker kind of woody feel, I'm going to add um, a slight average vignette in there onto this image just to take the attention away from the edges. Um, be careful with vignette, you don't want kind of like the 1980s vignette going on there, so make sure it's subtle. And then if you wanted to convert to black and white um, after everything else, you can choose one of the black and white settings and then you can brighten up or dull down the black and white. There are finishing touches here too, but I'll get on to those in a moment. So the next step would be using the brushes um, to edit the baby, the LSP brushes. Once you've installed the brushes, 
so you simply click up here this little um, adjustment brush you can hit K as well to open this up it's um, this icon here I'm not sure why that's that means adjustment brush in Lightroom but it does so you click that you can click up here and you can choose um, these are my white linen the LSP baby ones will come up here the LSP baby brushes there are 20 brushes to choose from so I'm going to start off with um, lightning baby's face up so for that I'm going to choose the brighten up face brush you can make the brush bigger by scrolling on your mouse or you can choose here to select the size you can make it smaller by scrolling down and you can erase the brush by holding down alt you see um, when I hit alt on the keyboard it turns into a minus and that means you can erase the brush I would recommend having your flow on 50% this means you can paint and paint and build it up as you go and then take your finger off the mouse or the tablet as soon as you're happy with the strength. So I'd have it on 50% flow rather than 100%. You can also choose to auto mask. This means Lightroom will decide where you want to paint or you can have auto mask off. For now I'm having it off because I want to just brighten the face so I'm just going to run this brush over and as you can see that's brightened up. I don't want to brighten up the hand so I'm going to just erase that from there. And now I'm going to go up to uh, reducing the reds, because baby does have some reds on their face. Oh, there we go, I just changed the brush. You want to click new and reduce the reds. I'm going to run this over the baby again, all over the baby's skin. Um, and then I'm going to hold down the minus to take this off um, baby's lips, because I don't want to reduce the reds there. I just want to reduce the general reds in the skin. And the cheeks. I tend to like leaving the natural blush on the cheeks. Um, it gives baby more depth, as you can see, and I'd rather use baby's natural red tone <laughs> for the skin rather than manually adding in um, some blush. And I'm going to rub this over. As you can see, my flow is taken down a little bit too on the eraser brush. So I'm going to take it off again a little bit more on those lips. You can also click new um, if you wanted to go in and reduce the reds a little bit more in specific areas. You can build up these brushes as much as you like. So you can see here there's kind of a, a red patch. I'm just going to click over that to take that one down and perhaps a couple of these red patches on the arm. Just to take them down a tiny little bit. Subtlety is key here. You want to build it up rather than kind of going in full force. Okay, so for these eyelashes I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to select a new brush and I'm going to choose um, sharp eyelashes. Make the brush nice and small and I'm going to stroke it along the lash line here just to really start bringing out these eyelashes. This will darken the lash line too, uh, meaning more attention is brought to baby's eyes. For the eyelids I'm going to soften those down. So I'm going to click a new brush and choose soften more. Obviously you can go through all these brushes, you can play with them, you may find you stick to just two or three brushes per edit. Um, you may find you go through all the brushes several times. It all depends on the newborn uh, because as we know all newborns have very different skin and it also depends on your settings and how the shot came out and how, how well you got it in camera or not. So these presets will literally kind of cater for everything and as I said you may find yourself using more, you may find yourself using less depending on the newborn, depending on the edit required. I'm going to click a new brush and I'm going to soften the skin down now using the uh, soft skin brush, which is here. And this just adds kind of a calm tone to the skin and softens the skin more to make those kissable little cheeks. Um, so this will kind of convert newborn skin back to how mama sees it, rather than the sharpness that your camera picked up every little blemish. You make the brush a little bit larger. And sweep here. I'm going to concentrate on these arms. Excuse the lag on my uh, on my Lightroom. And what I'm going to do now, I've just realised baby's eyelids are still a little bit red, so I'm going to go for a new brush and choose <laughs> when Lightroom wants to. I'm going to choose reduce the reds again, just to sweep over those eyelashes. I'm going to zoom right in, make my brush nice and small, and I'm just going to sweep this over the lids. If it comes up as too intense you can simply make a larger eraser and erase some of it off. For example I'm making the brush bigger and I'm going to use this feathered section just to take a little bit of it down. 
You want to leave the natural shadows in as captured by your light. You don't really want to brush those away too much because it adds depth to the baby's face. Okay. So as you can see already, this has changed an awful lot um, as compared to the original. when Lightroom wants to show you. So that was our original. And this is the edit so far. The next step would be coming in with the clone brush. The clone on Lightroom, you can either choose to clone or heal, and that is here, the little brush with the arrow that says spot removal. I'm not going to go through and remove every spot, or this video may be a little bit long. I'm going to use heal on 100% opacity, and I've taken the feathering down a little bit just to be a little bit more targeted to these specific spots. So you simply click over the spot or the flake and Lightroom will choose where it wants to replace the, um, the cloning area with. You can simply drag that around um, you know, and find the area yourself manually if Lightroom gets it wrong because it tends to get it wrong sometimes. As you can see, my computer is being very slow and I do apologise for that, but hopefully this gives you a little bit more time to digest the information as well because I do tend to race uh, when I'm recording. I'm going to be recording other videos which you can find underneath this one of um, some more edits in Lightroom. Those ones I will not be talking so much, I will be racing through them a lot faster. So that's why this video uh, should be the one you're watching first because I'm going into a lot more detail on this video. But I hope you can see already just how much these presets will speed up your editing. I'm not going to go through the whole spot removing process because seriously my Lightroom may just kind of fall and die <laughs> off the desk <laughs> because it's not coping well today. I'm going to remove this, this area here as well. So to do that I'm going to make a bigger brush and I'm going to simply make sure I cover the area in white and then I'm going to, oh Lightroom's lined it up pretty well but I'm just going to use this to line the area up a little bit better so this, the crate comes out straight. Okay, so spot removal, we can go over the skin a little bit more. You can literally work and work on the skin using the brushes as much as you want. And I'm not going to do a full edit on this baby because otherwise you will be here all day watching this video and probably falling asleep on your keyboard. But I'm going to do one more skin brush which is soften more and I'm just going to really soften up these areas now. These areas of milk spots, little flakes, spots or anything like that. There are also brushes to brighten up the lips, um, to add cheek colour back in, to add contrast, to darken certain areas of your image, to lighten um, areas more, to bring out details. If baby has open eyes, there are brushes for the iris, uh, for the whites of the eyes, for really making those eyes pop. I'm going to go over with one more red reduce because to me baby is still looking a little bit pink. And then I'm going to show you the peachy skin brush as well which will bring some colour and tone back into the skin if you've gone quite heavy with the edit because <clears throat> you've had to remove quite a bit of the red areas. And again that's come out a tiny bit green so what I'm going to do now is use the eraser on the feathered edge just to slightly take that off, just a tint. And the good thing is with brushes as well, if you've done, if you've painted an area and you think that doesn't look great, you can simply click on the editing pin and hold and hit delete and it will show you the mask of the brush and it will, you know, you can delete it, you can drag it around and move it. It's all very manual and all very um, <clears throat> intuitive really, once you get the hang of it, even if it doesn't seem that way at first. This is a pinchy, peachy skin toner. You can use this if baby's skin is looking um, a little bit cold or a little bit blotchy. Um, for this baby, I probably don't need to use it because the tones are quite right. So peachy is making baby look um, a little bit too warm, I feel. But as you can see, peachy skin will soften up baby beautifully as well. So you can use that as one more wash overlay if you would like to change the, uh, the tone of baby's skin. I'm just going to simply select the editing pin and hit delete to take that one off. So I hope this has been a good demonstration of the uh, the LSP newborn preset workflow collection. 
I'm just going to show you, as promised, the finishing touches. You have um, dark and backdrop fabric paint. This is if baby is on um, a beanbag. The matte and blue background, um, if baby is left place. I've called it matte and blue. When you get it, this will be matte and blur because it's not really matte and blue, is it, Lauren? Come on. Um, I'm going to use matte and blur edges centre with the baby, so this will kind of blur in the edges without touching baby. Or you can reset, as with any of the presets. And once you've finished, you can come back up and tweak it if you want to, by uh, popping a little bit of contrast in, a little bit more contrast if you wanted to, by changing the, um, the shadows and the highlights. If you wanted baby to come a little bit brighter, you can brighten those highlights up. Uh, if you wanted to add a little bit more depth to the shadows, you can do that too. The possibilities really are endless. There's an infinite amount of comb combinations you can make. You just literally have to um, have to go through these and play. So let's see the before and after next to each other when Lightroom um, decides to... Oh, look, not responding. When Lightroom decides to um, to show you. My Lightroom is, um, it really, really does not like um, <laughs> when I have my video recording software. Okay, so this is before and this is after. And this is a Lightroom edit with all my talking um, aside and my showing you how to use things. If I was just doing it silently and clicking through, this probably would have taken me three or four minutes. Um, especially if my Lightroom was behaving itself and being a little bit faster. You can simply then select all the other images that look pretty similar lighting, a similar setup, and hit the sync button, sync the settings, and you're away. You've batch edited all of those images. You can go into Photoshop if you want to, or you can carry on in Lightroom working on the little spots, the flakes, and anything else you want to manually tweak, and your gallery will be done in half the time or less, I would say. So that is the LSP newborn preset workflow collection for Lightroom and that is available at www.lsp-actions.com instant download and you can upload it straight away into your Lightroom with instructions included.